Get rid of these buggers. In you go. In you go. Woohoo! You recording, aren't you? <laughs> Watch me break the set. Woo! Rave time. One more thing. There we go. <laughs> it was really hot. Oh my god. Hajimashite. Kyo. Nihon tabemono. Boksu. To. Japan Kreto. Tochiru no Honga Ichiban desu so basically, for a long time, or over a year now, me and Whitney um, have been like wanting to go back to Japan, but because of said pandemic, we can't. So I thought as like a present uh, last year, I was like, huh, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of these Japan crate things about. I wonder, let's give that a shot. So we've been doing Japan crate for about a year now. Then about a couple of months ago, um, I saw another one called Boxu, and I was like, ooh. You normally when you see people who do these sorts of videos, they're either sponsored or it's an integration or something like that, and all they say is uh, amazing reviews, and of course they want you to buy the thing. Not that I'm gonna slay either one of them here. I think we'll find out. That maybe there's one better, maybe there's not. It's really personal preference, I would say, not to spoil anything. <gasps> We're gonna delve in to what you get inside Japan Crate, what you get in Boxu Crate, prices, and just basically, is it even worth it? Let's start with the classic. Japan Kreto! Sugoi! This is one that we've done for, I think, a year now. I don't have a problem, you do. Japan Crate retails for about 50-ish dollars. It's about $49 if you want to buy a one-off. But I think with all of these, you can, even with Boxu, you can buy like three months, six months, 12 months, and you'll get like a certain price off. In fact, Japan Crate, I will quickly just put up, uh, do loads of other different things. Like uh, there's a Doki Doki one, there's a Gacha one. So, and there's also like a food one. I think it's Umai one, uh, Umai Crate, which is basically just like curries and things like that. So depending on what you want, you know. So, let's get the ceremonial knife out. All right, here we go. There you go. What do we have actually inside? So you get the little letter thing that basically tells you all the things that if you were lucky enough on the back there, you might have been in with a chance. The best way I can describe it, if you've ever been in Japan or you know Japanese stuff, it's a combini. Basically, imagine that you just walked into a convenience store and somebody's just grabbed like a crude ton of random things off the shelves and has shoved it in a box. That's what Japan Crate feels like. So you've got you've got stuff like um, this. What What is this? A heavy and thick taste. Graceful seasoning is one of the things we have to most treasured. Well, there's a wide variety of stuff you can get in here. Like, for instance, something that, you know, you might be quite interested in, they always do some random flavored Kit Kats. And I think everybody who's outside of Japan or in the Western world loves this sort of thing because we only get one flavored kind of Kit Kat. And with Japan Crate, you're guaranteed to get a bag of Kit Kats. And this one uh, is Ringo. So it's a Sinshu apple. Interesting. I don't think I've ever tried apple Kit Kats, so that's something. Also, another thing with Japan Crate that you might not get in other things is you always get a drink. What is this? It looks like an energy drink. See, when it comes to like reading Japanese, they always do these weird fonts and I, it's super something. I'm assuming that this is like ramen flavored Pringles. I'm assuming it's chicken, chicken ramen flavored Pringles. That actually quite nice. Uh, you always get like a big bag of crisps as well. This is caramel corn. You like crisps? Well, do you like them sweet? Well, you do now, because that's what you're getting. Japan potato, 100% eel flavor. Also something you'll find if you know anything about Japanese food and stuff like that. This is basically just something you would, I would find at like a tuck shop in the UK or like a corner shop, but no. What has Japan done? They went one step further. They've individually sealed it. Beautiful, love the environment. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes with the packaging, it's like, <laughs> Well, you really just want the planet to die, don't you? Choco... Choco man... Marshmallow. There you go. Chocolate marshmallow. Not that I really needed to translate that. I think it's pretty given. Especially now that I look at the back and it says Choco on it. And it's definitely marshmallow. <laughs> and another thing, you'll get like the Kit Kat, you'll get the drink, you'll get the crisps. But you'll also get something like this. One of these, um, you know, like you make it. A DIY kit, yeah, for kids. Coming down the end now. What we got here? Oh my god, you got a, a d diamond ring bob. Uh, I haven't seen these since I was a kid. Oh, this actually looks like nice. Banana mochi? A banana smoothie mochi. And that is pretty much what you get inside 
a fidget pan trade. But as you can see, just by looking at all of this, there, there really doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason as to why they pick certain things. Like I said, there's always a kick out, there's always some crisps, there's always a drink. But it's usually random what the drink is. Sometimes it can be like a juice drink, sometimes it can be whatever the heck that is. Oh yeah, that's Red Bull. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mo moto moto. Oh, oh, why? Why did you taste like that? Do I feel... <laughs> Yes, that's uh, the expression I, I am. <coughs> oh, that is weird. It's like, it's Red Bull. It has this like medicine aftertaste to it, which is really weird. It's not soothing, but you know when you have mint and then you have a glass of water and it's like, whoa, that's like really cold or fresh. That's what that feels like. I can't say what I would I would want to drink. Like, go on, Whitney, what do you think? No. <laughs> it's what? It's blue. It's not blue. Is it? Oh my God, it is blue. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoa, it is blue. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's like the same kind of blue as this drink. That's, that's what that is. Okay. If you were to have bought just the mini or the old original, um, it tells you what you would have got there. Um, I, I mean, I've had a look at these in the past and if I've got to be honest, if you just bought the mini, then you weren't going to get a great deal of things. I think basically with the premium, you're just guaranteed that like the Kit Kat stuff. Oh no, because we got the premium, we, oh, we got the energy drink. Super Pachi is here. This hybrid energy drink features the delicious taste of energy drinks with 130 milligrams of caffeine and 300 milligrams of arginine. The hell is arginine? Apparently it's good for you. Rate the drink out of 10. Two. Definitely. Say three. Like, it's passable, but I wouldn't drink it. Like, two or one, that's for something that's, like, actually rancid. And the drink's not too bad. Drink's okay. I want to try the Kit Kat. They're usually hit or miss, I find. Sometimes they taste quite nice. Other times they taste incredibly chemically. You know? That's not bad. Go on, Winnie. You can have the other one. Is it better than normal Kit Kat? Um, not really. It's all right if you like the... It's a bit chemically tasting, but it's not too bad. I've had worse, definitely, in the past. Japan crepe, as, like, variety, it's definitely 10 out of 10. You get sweet, you get savory, you get chocolate, you get drinks, you get crisps, you get pretty much everything. You get whatever the hell this was. There's some nice stuff. Like, I can, without even tasting this, that's gonna be really nice. Like, I don't even need to try that. Okay, okay, I'll put my money where my mouth is. See, oh, just look at that. Look at that for presentation. Looks gorgeous. Incredibly terrible for the environment. <laughs> just really bad. It's all about fresh. Everything's got to be look even like even the individual thingy. You are the camera person, remember? <laughs> You're not just eating. It just comes over like give me. <laughs> you get like a little pricker to <laughs> so I can call it to uh, to take one and to eat one too. All right, that's good. Mmm. Oh yeah, that was actually a really nice banana. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. Yeah, you're not having any of these, Whitney. <laughs> no, no. You get the initial banana flavor, and with some things, it can just then build to a chemically taste. But this, you get the banana, and then it just gets creamy, and then it gets sweet. Go on, there you go. Yum yums. I, I take care of my waifu. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna eat these. <laughs> I don't want to know how much sugar's in it, but oh, it's so good. Mm. I would like it to be a bit more grainy. It is grainy. Well, like texture-wise. Mm. Ah, that's nice. You don't know what you're talking about. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like those. Like I said, I knew that was going to taste nice. Like, you can just tell that by looking at it. And then sometimes you've got stuff like this that's like... <laughs> it's <the> ice pop! <laughs> you're like, that's probably just going to be like artificial flavors and colors out the wazoo. Out your ass. <laughs> I think what definitely holds back... Um, Japan crate in a way is that there's definitely some things that you'll probably not eat um, especially if you're I don't know if, if you're younger you'll probably try everything but stuff like the chewing gum and things like that you're like mm, no need I know. <laughs> if I'm gonna eat stuff I want to enjoy it but this brings me to boksu what is it this is the premium Japanese snacks something they advertise is that they work with local Japanese instead of a combini or something like that you would get with Japan crate this is like local vendors from areas and I think they kind of try and make it as if it's a trip through Japan are you ready I'm quite excited I always like the presentation of these ones there you go right so what have we got in here 
Something like that's something that you would find in a Japan crate, definitely. Sigagumi. Is that watermelon? Probably is. I don't know. What I like about this is that you'll get like a couple of like one things like this. I have no idea what that is. You get two of things. I think with Boxu, maybe it's designed for a couple because like, yeah, you can share that, but then they give you two of these things. So it's definitely like, oh, you try one, I try one, or maybe you like that, save, save the other one for later. Uh, also, tea bags. Uh, roasted organic Japanese green tea. Not bad, but you'll notice it's got Boxu branding on it. And that's something that Japan Crate, I don't think does, uh, but Boxu does, and they have their own sort of things. <laughs> Can't work with this professionalism. Like this one as well. We got a Hokkaido Akiniku melon and pan. But again, it's got the Boxu branding on. So it do, they do give the vibe that they have went to like a local vendor and then they went, this is really nice. We want to work with you. And then they sort of package it themselves. Well, it looks like some sort of senbei. Um, and then you get three of these things too. No idea what that is. Three of, what is this? Oriru? That, that to me just looks like, I mean, it's liquid inside, like a, like a slurp pack or something like you peel the top off. It's, it's like peach syrup. Well, we've got to try that. There's apparently there's three of those as well. And something for dessert. Uh, a, a cutie selection. Oh, looks like a Victoria sponge. But then you've got, um, you've got like orange slices inside. They do market themselves, or at least it does appear, especially with the contents. A little bit above. It's not like a kombini. This is like luxurious a little bit. It's like a little bit like, you know, Starbucks. And another thing when it comes to these kinds of videos, when people promote them and stuff, you can't get comparisons. And a lot of the times when people uh, do paid for things, they're not allowed to like mention any competitors. And I don't know, I haven't even checked whether people have done this. They probably have to be fair. I've done Boxu for about like six months now, Japan Crate for like a year. I think I've got a good understanding of what is good and what, you know, is in a thing. I've been a couple of times I've had repeats in Japan Crate. I'm like, oh, this thing again. But I haven't had it in Boxu. Then again, I've done Japan Crate for twice as long. Let's have a look at this booklet. So there you go. You got a little trip. You can have a little uh, rikoshimas. Yasumi. And then you get these really nice uh, photographed images of everything that's been put in. Uh, the ingredients, any allergies, anything like that, uh, which is actually really helpful because a lot of Japanese products have shellfish or some sort of nuts in. Boxy, there's more of a likelihood that you'll get some with peanuts. <laughs> Should really pronounce that, uh, the, the, the T there a bit more. <laughs> you'll have a more likelihood of getting something with peanuts in. Uh, so it's really nice that they give you all of these descriptions. Uh, oh, that's what they are. That's that's the little gum. Look at this. It's it's great. Like they've done little photo shoots with with some of these products. Where is it? This squeezy thing. What what is this squeezy thing? A uh, Purun Kanjak jelly. Uh, a yeah, it says Purun. No, <laughs> I know how to say Purun. A Purun Konjak Jelly. Konjak Jelly is a natural plant-based... <laughs> konjak Jelly is a natural plant-based jelly made from cognac plant. Uh, it makes a super refreshing treat in the hot summer months, especially when chilled in the refrigerator first. The natural flavor of cognac... I'm pretty sure that's it, cognac, right? It's, I thought cognac was alcoholic. Am I wrong? Yes. Uh, really lets the peach juice shine. Uh, for a sweet and delicate flavor. Is it? Okay, so konjac. Sorry, I was saying it wrong. I meant konjac. That's it. <laughs> if you're having people over you know, for snacks, because a lot of the times we don't finish a lot of the stuff. And if anybody comes over, we just whip it out and then everyone just like tries a few things. And I think there's, there's always just that bit of like, whoa, what the hell is this thing? So I kind of want to try this jelly. So it even gives you instructions on the back. Well, that's, um, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting something fluidy. Um, do they, they sure they don't have jellyfish in this? <laughs> it's just like one of those like yogurt pots you'd get. The jelly pots, sorry. You'd get one of those. Same consistency. Oh my god, it's the right battle to eat because it constantly avoids your teeth. I don't even think you're supposed to chew that. I think you're just supposed to swallow it. There's no way you can chew that up. <laughs> Okay there. So I was just like focusing. You have to focus on chewing that. Yeah. 
It's all right. I'd give it a six to be fair, just because I don't really like these jelly things anyway, but it's completely inoffensive. If you like jelly stuff, you're probably going to like that. Let's see this. It's like a little hamburger. Oh, that smells nice. This is from Tokyo, apparently. A lemon pack soft cookie. Ah, milk, eggs, wheat, soy also contains alcohol. All right, okay. We're going to take it slow with this one because we don't know what how nice or not nice it's going to be. I don't know what to say about that. There's nothing really much I can say. A little, it's like a cake, basically, with like a lemon cream inside, the tart from the lemon, sweetness from the bread stuff. Yeah, that's really nice. Whoa, oh, Jesus. I mean, these packets have like ballooned up probably because they were like, I mean, they've all came from Japan. So that are they always ballooned up, are they? Oh, that reminds me of a night out that does. That's like, whoa, that's some pain stripper. <laughs> pain stripper alcohol that. So these are like some grape gummies. The little pop shape. I'm assuming it's going to be like sour. Again, okay, it's just really nice. Yeah, I had that one. That's a, ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's so much flavor in that. Jesus. Oh, that is lovely. All right, I'm going to, we're going to try this one because this one looks really strange. Uh, usually it was an aromatic citrus fruit that pairs well with sweet, savory, or spicy. And you'll find all three in this cracker. The thick and crunchy fried rice cracker has black sesame seeds. I thought it was. It's covered with an intensely flavored glaze that starts sweet before the heat kicks in with a gentle yuzu aroma. You want half of it? Proper solid this, like, there you go. You have half, and I'll have, well, you have that bit. Does that look like half of it? <laughs> well, you want more? Does you haven't even had any. You haven't had it yet. Okay, oh, this is my half. Oh, that's nice as well. You get a good mixture. You get a good, you get like some savory, you get some sweet. Is this what I'm doing now? Do I just like eat things on camera? It started with Kinder Eggs and now here we are eating just everything. <laughs> the beaver mukbang, woohoo! Well, today I would say, actually, I'm leaning towards Boksu. I know, shock horror! Why is that? Why Why have I made that decision? The food I got on there in this one was just a bit nicer and a bit varied. I think it was, it's, it's closer than normal. Normally I would just say Boksu like outright. I'd be like, yeah, that was just way better. But I think with the, these little peach things, like that's something I'd expect in like a Japan crate. What made it closer to Japan crate for me anyway, was probably the, the banana smoothie mochi. The rest of it's kind of like what I would expect from it. I think for these boxes in particular, I'm going to give Boxu a 9 out of 10. Could have been higher, whereas Japan Creator was probably an 8. Just because, you know, you, you get the random, you get the little chewy gummies, you get the little kid play kit. I think those banana smoothie mochis were like MVP in that one. But really, the biggest question is, in general, what's better? And I gotta say to that, it's all down to personal preference. I'm so sorry, it's a cop-out thing. I know you, maybe you were expecting me like, don't get your pan crate, Boxu's the one. Honestly, it's it's really dependent on you. If you want something a bit random, fun, something like, like literally you just went into a combini and just grabbed a bunch of stuff, then Japan Crate's probably gonna be better for you. If you're wanting something that's curated, I guess, is probably the best way of putting it. Um, then Boxu is definitely for you. Each are basically the same price. So for one month for Boxu, it's $49.95. But if you were to do a 12 month, it's actually $39.95. So you save $10 on 12 boxes, which in total is around about $120. Well, yeah, $10 in each box, so yeah, it's around about $120. That makes sense, James. And on Japan Crate for one month, again, $49.95. You do a 12-month plan, it's $45.78 a month. Actually, so you save more on getting the boxu. So on the boxu, you save $120 going for 12 months, but on Japan Crate for doing 12 months, you only save $50. Yeah, you definitely get more variety in Japan Crate, that's for sure. But what I'm saying is, for one month, they're both the same. So if you're wanting to just try one, they're pretty much the same price. If you want to do three months, then it's $47.95 for Japan Crate. And for Boksu, it's $44.95. So if you're doing one month, then actually they work out the same. But if you do multiple months, then Boksu is actually cheaper. I don't know. Again, like I said, it could be changed by you could your influencer codes. Game and Beaver 20 to, to get 20% off. Whoa! 
<laughs> it's all up personal preference, completely down to you. I gotta say you get good and bad in both. Some things you might like, some things you might not like. Maybe I've helped you make a decision that you were really on the fence of. And maybe I now you don't want any of them because you've seen what's inside. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It was it's great eating some food. Till next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye. Hi! <laughs>